life wouldn't exist without water and I think I've been fascinated with uh, the transference of its energy uh, and that's included on an emotional and molecular level um, like trauma, joy, ecstasy, um, even generational tra trauma and empathy, I feel like the, the release and recycling of this energy and the impact it has uh, on us as it ripples outward is um, like a continually beautiful and uh, painful process that I'm still grappling with. The types of animals I've portrayed in, in my work have different symbolic traits, but all share this universal strength and power. Uh, the dogs, I think, are the most expressive, and I see a lot of us and humanity in them. Uh, they represent uh, an intellect and an assuredness and a confidence in their emotions that I admire. And uh, I think with, with, with a grace and beauty that I think um, is something that we all strive for. Some long time uh, influences I would say are John James Audubon, uh, Martin Johnson Heed, and Otto Van Schriek, and a lot of other, um, the Dutch Golden Age era, as well as a contemporary painter, uh, Walton Ford. I started painting when I was very young, and um, I ended up just, I guess, becoming obsessed and fixated, and it has uh, never really stopped. 